Hello, I'm continuing my reviews on the Prom Night series with the 2008 Prom Night remake. Now, this was directed by Nelson McCormick, who also directed the Stepfather remake, and it was written by J.S. Cardon, who also wrote the Stepfather remake, and he also wrote and directed movies like The Slayer and The Forsaken. And this is a loose remake of the 1980s slasher film of the same name, which had three sequels, making this the fifth film in the Prom Night franchise overall. Now, in reality, this is a remake in name only. The film shares no story elements with the original film, other than it being about a killer stalking teenagers on prom night. But in a way, this being an in-name-only remake kind of fits with the rest of the franchise, because none of the Prom Night sequels had anything to do with the original Prom Night. The Prom Night series was ostensibly an anthology series where each film was a standalone story that just happened to take place on Prom Night. The only thing that connected all the films was they were all set at the same high school. This movie's not even set at Hamilton High. And this movie also doesn't have Brock Simpson in it. Where the fuck is Brock Simpson? Now, I almost wasn't even going to review this one, because a lot of the time when I review films in a franchise, I tend to skip over the remake, unless I feel the remake brings something new to the table or has something to say. Which means that I really shouldn't have reviewed this one, because this brings nothing to the table and has nothing to say. Because this is one of the most bland, boring, and forgettable, Forgettable slasher films I've ever seen. I rewatched this movie about a week ago and I'm actually kind of struggling to remember half this movie. I don't own the movie, I watched it on Amazon Prime, and maybe it's because I hate watching movies on my computer, but to be honest, I really was tuning out throughout a lot of this movie. Because here's the thing. You could actually do a pretty good remake of the original Prom Night using the same story, because even though I like the original film, I don't think it's some untouchable masterpiece, and you could actually take that story and improve upon it. But no, they decided to make this generic-ass PG-13 rated slasher film. So, the plot of Prom Night is it's about this girl, I think her name is Donna or some shit, and her high school teacher becomes obsessed with her, and... He ends up murdering her entire family, and he gets arrested, and a few years later escapes from the psychiatric hospital, and starts going after Donna and her friends during the night of their senior prom. Now, in the film, Brittany Snow plays the character of Donna, and Brittany Snow isn't bad in the movie, per se, but the character of Donna is so bland and wooden, and I hate saying that about somebody who's the victim of stalking, because obviously stalking is a real-world issue, but yeah, there's nothing interesting or memorable about this character. And pretty much all the characters in this movie are basically walking cliches. They're exactly the kind of characters that you would expect to see in a teen slasher film. You also have Jonathan Sheck, if I'm saying his name right, as the main villain whose name I'm completely forgetting because I don't care. And again, it's not that the actor does a bad job, it's just that the character is so forgettable. He's such a generic bad guy. And he's a character who, on paper, should be terrifying. I mean, he's a teacher who becomes obsessed with one of his students and starts stalking her. We have shit like that in real life, so you would think this character would be really chilling, but again, he's such a bland and forgettable character, and actually, I watched this movie once about ten years ago, and before I rewatched it in preparation for this review, I was actually kind of struggling to remember the villain of this movie. I was like, who is the villain again? The only character in this movie who stood out to me at all, and it's not because the character is well written, it's because he's played by a fantastic actor, and that's Idris Elba as Detective Wynn. And you know what? What the fuck is Idris Elba doing in this movie? This movie's beneath him. You also have Joshua Leonard, who most people would recognize from the Blair Witch Project as a bellhop in this movie, which was kind of cool. Not enough to save the movie, but it was kind of cool. But you know what? This movie's beneath even Joshua Leonard. And where the fuck was Brock Simpson? 
Actually, you know what? No, this movie... This movie's beneath Brock Simpson, so it's a good thing he wasn't in this. Uh, you know what? Before I talk about this movie more, I want to cut to my friend John, given his thoughts on this film. Okay, so this is my brief review on the, uh, Prom Night 2008 remake. I saw the remake first before I knew about the original. And at this time period, I had no idea that this was a remake, that there was an original one back in the 80s. But at that time, it did not occur to me to Google movies like I do now these days. I saw this when I was a freshman in high school in 2008. I didn't see it in the movie theaters when it came out. I saw it a few months later on cable TV. At the time when I first saw this movie, I thought it was an okay film. And rewatching the movie 10 years later, I still think it's an okay movie. I'm not saying it's a good remake or it's better than the original. I just thought it was okay. How they at least try to change it up and not copy the original as much. I'll give them some credit for changing the characters' names, at least try to make it its own thing. The best part was Idris Elda, who has been one of my favorite actors the last 20 years. His character was the Dr. Loomis in this movie, trying to find the killer. You are right, Christian, the killer does look like Charles Manson. The characters were cliche and nothing special. You did feel bad for Brittany Snow's character for going through a traumatic experience. It's not the best, it's just an okay, decent, average remake. So that was my brief review on the Prom Night remake. Once again, thank you, Christian, for having me a part of this. So yeah, I don't really have a whole lot else to say about this movie. I mean, this movie has scenes that I swear you would see in a parody of slasher films. You have a lot of false jump scares in the movie. Some of them don't even make any sense. Like, you have a scene where Donna's in the bathroom and she closes the mirror and her stupid-ass aunt is just standing behind her for no reason with this, like, dumbass expression on her face until she realizes that she scared her and it's like... What the fuck are you doing sneaking up on your niece in the bathroom, especially your niece who you know has been through a traumatic experience? And even though I said I liked Idris Elba's character, he is such an incompetent cop in this movie. I mean, there's a scene where the killer just walks right past him. Granted, they do acknowledge that later on, and also the killer did shave his beard because he has a beard in the beginning, but it's like... Come on, dude. But again, the only reason I liked Detective Wynn was simply because he was played by Idris Elba. Yeah, this is a bad movie, but honestly, the worst thing about it is it's just so painfully mediocre and forgettable, and sometimes that's the worst thing a movie can be. But yeah, there's a reason why the original Prom Night still has a devoted cult following and nobody talks about this movie. Hell, I hear more people in the horror community talking about the Prom Night sequels than this movie. And plus, there was no goddamn Brock Simpson. Yeah, I know, I just said it's probably a good thing Brock Simpson isn't in this movie because even he's above this, but you know what? If he was in this movie, it would have made it a little bit better. Now that I'm done with the Prom Night movies, the next franchise I'll be reviewing for Horror Month is actually a series I reviewed before, but because a new installment of this series recently came out, I decided to re-review this franchise. So my next movie review will be on the 1992 Clive Barker adaptation, Candyman.